How's it going, Helldivers and fellow Freedom Fighters alike? We got some stuff to talk about today, so let's just jump right into here. So right here on the Reddit, we see right here, it says, Arrowhead, cause of the freezes identified. A patch should be ready to deploy early next week. In the meantime, we advise against using the Arc Thrower, Arc Shotgun, and Tesla Tower, or those appear to be linked to the issue. Here we can see a post by Baskinator on the Discord. It says, We have identified the cause of the freezes many players have been experiencing, and we are in the process of building a patch to fix it that should be ready to deploy early next week. In the meantime, we against using the Arc Thrower, our Shotgun, Tesla Tower, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your continued patience. Obviously, if you guys see my last video, you know that all the Arc weapons right now, they are just completely crashing your game if you're using it due to a bug it has to do with, I think, the uh, total kill stat, something like that. But as of right now, just all the Arc weapons are just completely broken. And here we got this post that really got me thinking. Uh, it reads, Helldivers 2 has made me realize how much gaming has fallen it reads this game has some flaws but goddamn it is good it feels like you're actually seeing a war unfold with the live service they came up with but what made me realize dude our standards have went to shit was when i was playing with a mission and a teammate opened three bunkers and got 100 super credits each time which is the premium currency i was surprised that i can actually earn all armor sets and cosmetics by playing the effing game yes i can buy super credits but i can also play hell diver difficulty and explore and walk out of the mission with enough to buy some new armor compare that to other games where i have to expect opening my wallet every two seconds and dish out 20 dollars for an armor set and a new weapon like call of duty helldivers 2 should have gamers demanding we want to earn everything by playing the game and that's what i think makes helldivers 2 so great i mean literally like he said you don't even have to spend real money at all i have just because i i enjoy supporting these developers i've only maybe spent may, maybe a total of maybe like 20 30 dollars on the store but even so on the superstore you get the armor rotation that comes on all the time it costs a total i think of us like 600 super credits to buy every single one of them well it's like just go grind out a couple of farming missions to get some super credits and now you just saved you know however much money to buy them it's pretty great though because it's like if you compare it to a game like say what is it diablo 4 i think where they they're charging what 60 dollars for a cosmetic horse or something like that i mean hell divers 2 is just honestly going in just such a good direction I, I hope in the future other game companies are like you know what we should we, sh we should follow these guys these guys you know they know what's up i don't know though because there's so much corporate greed going on in the world right now but i really think that hell divers 2 is like bringing us back to how it was say about 15 years ago before all the crazy microtransaction madness started. And here we got this post that doesn't seem to have any kind of engagement at all. It was posted about two hours ago at the time of this recording. So stop posing solutions to problems you don't understand. It reads, to preface, I am 100% aware this post is going to lead to me being called a bootlicker or meat writer or that people are going to say that they have a right to complain about the technical issues happening at the moment. You do have that right. I can't take that away and I wouldn't even if I could. My contention is something else. But really simply, unless you are a game developer or have worked on a software project as bloated and complicated as a video game, stop trying to pose solutions to the issues we are facing. I understand the impulse to think that the issues we're facing are actually really simple and there's something really easy and quick Arrowhead could do to fix the stability issues but this game has, but that's not the case and never will be. If your reaction to the crashing issues this patch has caused is quote unquote stupid arrowhead, why don't they just do blank? You are not more qualified to fix the game than the devs are. I'm not. Nobody is. Let them do their thing. Complain all you like in the meantime. Just stop proposing solutions to problems you don't understand. And really, the only reason why I'm putting this here in the video, because I would I would want to hear what you guys think about this post. I have my opinions on this and I would love to get into it, but at the same time, I don't really want to, at least not on the video, <laughs> uh, mainly because I think my opinions on this are very controversial. But I would love to hear what you guys think about this post here. I mean, like I can see both sides of it honestly but it's like at the same time it's like i don't know at the same it, 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 I, I don't want to get into it i don't want to get into it but i would love to hear what you guys think about this one down in the comments below we got this meme here it says i love this game it's buggy unbalanced and crashes too often still there goes the best damn game of 2024 man seriously going back to what i was saying before they're, they're doing everything absolutely perfect on this game the way they talk to their community how often they talk to their community how engaged they are and everything how quick they are to find problems how quick they are to fix problems of course fixing things ends up breaking more things but that's just how games work anyways i mean overall all in all it's like seriously this this is going to be game of the year 100 percent. i don't see what could beat this and as game of the year of 2024 absolutely like 100 percent. i don't know what could beat this game as game of the year here we got this meme that says there are no bad stratagems only bad hell divers arc thrower isn't actually a team kill weapon when you don't point it at teammates same as literally any other stratagem and weapon. Learn to aim and communicate. You know, I really, really, really agree with this post. Like, <laughs> I agree with this post so much. Uh, in my, uh, anti-material rifle video i had a lot of people saying that the anti-material rifle gun is just bad and it's like well it's like you know honestly sorry to say man it's like the gun's not bad maybe you are because i 
I don't know. I feel like every single stratagem is absolutely amazing. If you give it to somebody who knows how to use it effectively, knows how to use it strategically. I mean, there, there's really, like the post says, there are no bad stratagems. There's a couple of them that are maybe are like too good, but I don't think there's any bad ones. I just really think that there's just people who just, they're not good enough at using that weapon. Probably controversial to say that. I don't know, but that's just the way I feel about it. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this whole post right here in the comments down below. I would love to see that. And we got this PSA right here. It says, if you're literally on fire, dive, aka stop, drop, and roll. After several rounds with random players on Hailmire, I've noticed that a lot of newer players don't immediately die for the ground when they catch on fire. Diving puts out the fire quickly and might save your life or at least your stems. I am honestly so surprised how people don't, you know, understand this. <laughs> I mean, seriously, they teach you this in what? Elementary school? Grade school? Whatever you want to call it. They teach you this at a very young age. I mean, if you're on fire, hit the hit the dirt. And it's no different in, in Helldivers too. If you go, if you went and seen my um, my last build video, the Lord of Flames build, which I'm honestly really proud of that one. If you go and watch that video, you see I catch on fire, I don't know how many times. And as soon as I see I'm on fire, I hit the dirt. It's, it, I mean, just literally just die. The flames will get put out immediately. You can do it the second you catch on fire and you will lose minimal health at all. If you weren't aware of this, now you are put this to good use. And to wrap this video up here, we got, I wish there was a self-destruct option for a mech. I love mech suits so much that I feel sad every time I have to leave one alone with depleted ammunition. Their melee option are so bad you risk being killed, so why not give it a chance to go away in a blaze of glory? One last loud goodbye to bugs while your team escapes under its countdown. It would be wise to not leave such dangerous tech to an enemy as it could serve its purpose one last time. And it would be pretty cool though if you like open up your stratagem menu again and like under where the mech is, there's like a self-destruct code you input and then it'd be like something like out of Predator, how they, in how they activate their like like self-destruct thing on their little wrist or whatever. I feel like that'd be really cool. It wouldn't, obviously I don't expect it to be like a huge explosion, but I do expect it to be big enough to kill a decent amount of enemies around it before it, you know, actually, you know, becomes ineffective completely by the time that they destroy it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this in the comments down below, but that's gonna have to wrap it up for this video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I would love to hear what you guys have to think about this video down in the comments below. Anything, any thoughts you have, any kind of rants you got, anything, anything at all. I'd love to hear it down in the comments below. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Keep killing those bugs, keep killing those bots, keep fighting for democracy, and I will see you guys in the next video.